Going for fusion here in uh, where the 13th uh, May, Mother's Day. Yesterday on the 12th, I went to the track with my new Liver Noise Motor Sport Stage 3 version 6 for the, the EcoBoost 2.7. And um, honestly, it's a goddamn good tune. And, um, and uh, I think it. Uh, the car has more power than the uh, the advertise uh, on their site. Um, I just posted a video showing my best ET on on the on the track. It's a very short video, and um, an estimate weight for that those runs I did that night uh, four thousand four hundred forty pounds. My estimate engine power I think it's plus four hundred ten horsepower. And the torque, it's anywhere between 470, 480, so I would say it's about 475. Uh, I'll have to confirm that on a dyno one day, but if I look at miles per hour and the weight of the car and, and the all-wheel drive and all that, it's about those numbers. Um, here I displayed um, all my, uh, my passes. I wrote it all down for you so it's easier, but I'll, I'll show you all the paths. Like, this is my best one, and 1283 wine at 106.52. But um, here on this book, here I show uh, the first two columns, quarter mile, the middle 160 foot, and I also put the one and a, uh, uh, one eighth of a mile for those who, who wish to have the these answer. Now, if you want, if you could pause this. And look at all the numbers, but I'm just gonna talk about the highlighted ones. Uh, never mind the zero four four zero zero four five. That's the video um, that I just posted a minute ago. Uh, I was looking for it, and it was that number. So my best CT twelve eight three one one zero six fifty two. The miles per hour that run. My best sixty footer of that evening. And uh, there's front wheel spin, even uh, on all wheel drive. Well, it's always on all wheel drive, but there's front wheel spin. But what I do, I, I do take the traction control out. And as you can see, the best uh, ET of the one of eight mile. And my best MPH of that evening is 107.61. Now, I did something very interesting here. There's um, a few passes, uh, well, two passes I uh, forgot to put them on S mode. All this. On this sheet here it's sport mode and on this side is a uh, uh, D mode and what's funny uh, the first time uh, see that 13044 that was against another Ford Fusion actually um, uh, one card I was supposed to go see and buy it in my region but I was deployed to do something and this other guy bought it and I met this guy for the first time yesterday at the track and um, he didn't do the mods like I do, but he has that uh, GMS um, port thing that you put in the OBE and it makes it uh, give a few uh, pounds of boost uh, per gear for a few seconds. I think it fools the computer for a while. And it, anyway, so this is what, what, what I have in uh, D mode. Um, it's not bad at all. And what's funny, because I did all these passes, except for twice I did on mistake. I forgot to put... Um, these two, I think they were, I forgot to purposely build. These four here, uh, what happened? He came to see me, says, oh, you're in the 12s. <laughs> you need an helmet. I'm like, I didn't bring an helmet tonight. This is, well, the, I told him, you know, tell, I'll tell you what, I'll just drive in D mode and I'll be in the 13. So that's what happened. If you look here, it's pretty cool though. 13, 007, 008, uh, 009. But 50% of these passes uh, on D mode, it's um, the miles per hour on the 107 compared to um, in the 12.8s, 12.9s. I mean, I do have 107s here and there, but it's it's uh, maybe 5%, maybe 10 of these passes. So that's something I, if I go to the uh, half mile, uh, the day I'll go to the half half mile, I may... Uh, I may just leave it on D mode, uh, at least one or two, just to try it, see if, because there it's all about miles per hour. But I do know the reason you go uh, faster in time is when you're on D uh, sport mode on each gear. What I notice, I have to film it to make sure, 
but at least 100 to 200 rpms more on each gear first second and third so that's why uh you know you you arrive there earlier in the miles per hour and always faster and i had my belltronic machine with me and what i did is um I completely empty it because I had over 100 pass in it. So I start from fresh and all I wanted to concentrate on that day was my 0 to 60 miles an hour. And uh, those, those, those tickets won't, won't give this 60. It will give the 60 foot, you know, uh, all the length, uh, but they won't give you the speed versus time. And uh, so this is my best 0 to 60, is my best 10. Um, once I went 430, which is good. Um, I mean, excellent. 442 once, three times 455, 458 once, four times 460, and so on. But they only record the top 10. So uh, I think on the street, uh, on one of my uh, earlier videos, I did 495, um, the 0 to 60. So, anyways, just to prove that uh, Liberto Motorsport uh, knows their shit. And uh, again, this is plus 94, uh, it's 94 octane, uh, it's 94.75 because the, the RON is 101.5 and the MON is 88. Um, again, I'll do a video explaining quickly the fuel. So guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll try to put more videos. It's very tricky uh, uh, to, uh, anyway, I, that's my problem, it's not yours. So this is what I have for now. And um, it's a good start. Okay, bye.